of the ACC. But at the end of the day, you got to score points. That's and, right. and if there's a if there's a weakness for their team, it's that their offense has a tendency to disappear, especially on the road. Saw David as good. He's into the game for the first time. That ball was deflected. They're going to count it. Say it was inside the cylinder. All right, Justin Knox. And what a nice way to come into a game. I think in some measure because of that uh, cool left hand of his. Could have taken a shot that time. I think Henson and Zeller was expecting that. How about that pass to Henson, huh? Oh, you talk about crafty. He drove baseline, kicked it back with a slight of hand. by Florida State. First touch for Zeller. Yep, right over James. No help coming, and it's 17 to 8. A few opportunistic baskets that Florida State has gotten out in the open floor, and I think that Barnes, you got to give it up to your point guard earlier in that, and you become a scorer. First bucket for Snare, and it's 27 to 21. Knox. Softly done by the Alabama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you got my drift. <laughs> Marshall with a little showy. Well, look at that pass to Bullock. Well, that's just marvelous. Marshall's ability to see in the half court, Mike, as you touched on. Out fighting Singleton for that offensive rebound, and North Carolina gets another crack at it. Yeah, Jenny, he's, he's going to be up close, probably 25 to 30 minute range now going forward. Oh, Dexter Strickland is feeling it. It is been like not and maybe that'll light him up. Well, that's I, I thought again that was an early shot in the shot clock, but uh, it's a guy who clearly wants to get into the flow offensively. He just wanted to see the ball at the rim. Marshall alley ooping for Henson. But I, I guess you get greedy over time. I like the fact I always uh, equated field goal percentage with the point guard play, and uh, I think that uh, you, you can see the scoring over the last four games and everything coming together with Kendall Marshall at the helm. Look like that, that, like that, right to Henson. Counter and a foul. How about this, Timmy? Kendall Marshall, eight assists, two turnovers, three steals. Now, the assist to turnover ratio is outstanding. Whenever you have more steals than turnovers, you're getting things back for your team. That's a great play, and that is a very tough finish against Henson. He had to play big in this game. And uh, the double whammy, Bernard James just got his fourth foul. Barnes, make him defend. Try to get a foul on him. Don't settle for a jump shot. Eyes always up with this kid. Dual keys right in his face, and he delivers an another dime right to Henson. I mean, he is just lights out. Well, how about that with the left hand, too? Oh. Shot clock winding down, another great deal. Oh, yes, to Zeller. That's 10 beautiful Sunday best dishes from Kendall. Wow, well, okay, you know what, his teammates all came over to congratulate him, and I don't know that I've ever seen a kid take more joy out of making a play. Look at that wraparound pass through traffic. He's been me. He said he remembered his first game, or at least his dad telling him about his first game when he first started playing basketball, and all he wanted to do was pass. It drove his dad nuts. But that's how he started the game, and apparently he's kept up with it, and it earned him a great nickname. Tim, you're going to love this Ooh. one. I call him Butter, because he's smooth and he spreads the ball around. Absolutely. Very nice. Well, you're dating yourself yeah. now. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> how, about, how about Paul Arizon? There you go. <laughs> Zeller gets it to go. What's that? What's that? One and one here for Henson. <laughs> Offensive rebound on the tap out by Zeller. Everything going right for North Carolina this afternoon. Marshall feeding Zeller into the paint. Hits the roll. 66 to 50. They've been able to usually make their runs when down 15 or 16, fall back to within seven or eight. That's been the way this game has gone. Now this zone has calmed North Carolina down a little bit, but the first three, big time for that to step up for Harrison. Some thing about sitting him for the rest of that first half and allowed him to play with a little more abandon here in the second. He's only picked up the one foul in this half. Look at that. Oh, Marshall to Zeller. 14 dimes dropped on this Super Bowl Sunday. Wow. Okay, he's two more than the entire Florida State team. Gibson quickly doubled. Got Zeller airborne. Unable to convert the chippy. Out of bounds. 
And it'll go to North Carolina. As I said, he, he plays so low to the ground. He never gets out of trouble. A nice wrap around right there. If you're a big and you're playing with him, just shape up, have your hands ready, and you're going to get some baskets. Players on the floor coming up to congratulate him. Kitchen on a blow by that time. Now that has been the one issue from a defensive standpoint. But there's the answer. How about that pass? I love the fact as soon as Marshall gets the ball, he's <laughs> argued they ran too many four corners, so he couldn't get any more. Well, I, used to, I always used to tease him about how could a point guard be the all-time leading scorer in the history of the score? Right. Harrison Barnes is really in touch as well. Six. And the Seminoles will play at Georgia Tech, Virginia at Wake. So they've got really a scheduling opportunity to make up ground. And listen to the crowd respond to Kendall Marshall. A big smile from Roy Williams. I just, I, you know, how you, you think about players of impact transferring at this time of the year, Tim, and I don't, I can't remember when it's happened last, but for him to step into the void and the greatest athlete in the world, he's not going to blow by you with great speed, but I tell you what, there's a lot of ways to advance the ball up the floor, and he does it with the pass as well as anybody. Well, Dan